it all has to do with street signs. Signs that read, no U-turn. It came down today. The signs, in addition to no cruising signs, were posted in the 1990s by neighbors who were targeting LGBTQ community members. Come on, man. What you just witnessed is not satire. I wish I could say it was. In California, they are actually pulling down U-turn signs saying that they're homophobic. According to NBC News in Los Angeles, the street signs were previously targeting LGBTQ members, claiming that the U-turn signs were installed in 1997 when neighbors complained about gay men hanging out and looking for dates in certain residential areas. LA City representatives are fighting, uh, are writing rather, an old wrong in Silver Lake here it is. And it also do with street signs. Signs that read, no U-turn. It came down today. The signs, in addition to no cruising signs, were posted in the 1990s by neighbors who were targeting LGBTQ community members. It was no uh, coincidence that these signs were put up after the LGBT community continued to grow more in the 90s uh, here in Silver Lake. In fact, they was, uh, part of the reason they were probably put up was because there was a, an LGBT bar that was just literally down the street uh, from the same area. It's good that we're trying, that we're finding the areas and the symbols within our own very city that continue to have these hateful remnants of the past. I was also surprised that these, um, <clears throat> these U-turn signs were still uh, up. And at first, you know, they seem a little, um, oh, okay, it's just a no U-turn sign. But when you learn the history of it and you realize that these were used to profile gay people, it's so important that we have these removed. The first time I watched this clip, I actually ended up missing the name of this person. But it's too funny not to point out that the name is Maybe a Girl. Going back to the U-turn sign part of it, no matter if you buy that propaganda story or not, the point is that the Alphabet Mafia makes everything about them and their sexuality, and this is just another perfect example of that. And scenarios like the U-turn signs coming down are why situations like this are happening around the country. He says yesterday evening she was sitting on the patio of O'Doherty's when she noticed a few teenagers on Lime scooters purposely creating skid marks on the mural here. <laughs> The 4th Avenue and 10th Street intersection is now covered with a rainbow gem, showcasing a piece of art that hopes to bring people together. According to leftists, it's not just supposedly homophobic road signs that the country's been infected with. We also have to deal with the very serious issue of road racism. We've got a crisis when it comes to roadway fatalities in America. We lose about 40,000 people every year. It's a level that's comparable to gun violence. And we see a lot of racial disparities, black and brown Americans, tribal citizens and rural residents much more likely to lose their lives, whether it's in a car or as a pedestrian being hit by a car. There are a lot of reasons uh, related to discrimination. Look, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. An open road in black South Chicago. This is another example of an arterial street with terrible infrastructure that encourages people to speed. What? And at the same time, has cameras that send out tickets automatically paid mostly, according to ProPublica, by drivers of color. And there it is. The program was rolled out um, under the auspices that it was all about public safety. City Council Member Anthony Beal represents the city's largely black Ninth Ward. We've learned that it's not about public safety, that the entire system is about generating revenue. You're an alderman. The city does need money, right? The city does need money, but if we're going to generate revenue, it needs to be off the backs of the entire city of Chicago and not targeted towards the black and brown communities. Stacy Sutton has studied literally millions of tickets given in Chicago from 2016 to 2019. Who got them disproportionately? Majority black neighborhoods or majority Latinx neighborhoods. I love your ears. I love them. They're really cool.